Good morning. This is the old mechanic. What have we got here? We got a BMW R1200GS water cooled. Yes. This bike is from 2040 and he is in very good condition. Absolute. We're going to do an oil change, renew the air filter, do the brake fluid on the front and on the rear, new oil in the rear, the dump thing, something, new spark plugs also. So let's get to work. Come on over here and we're going to start. We got our GS uh, up so we can make a better video for you. I secured it with two external straps. I got my winch. We first get the oil off. To get the uh, oil out, we first need to get the protection off. Got five bolts, Torx, there, there. It's a Torx 30. So, start here. Okay. There is the drain plug. This is a Torx 55. So first we're gonna loosen it. Up. Then the engine is warm. Like water. So over here is the uh, oil filter. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see it better. See over here. Hopefully this helps, I'm not sure, something like this, hopefully. No. <laughs>
So. Now, we're going to get a new oil filter on. I use the uh, brand High Flow Filtro because it's a great brand and it has a, a German TUF certification which is good. <laughs> and it's much cheaper than the original BMW. Always give the rubber ring. This is the oil that I always put in. We can oil the uh, rubber o ring. Already clean it all out, so now it looks good. We got the oil filter. We're gonna screw it up so it needs to be torqued at 11 newton meters so get it to 11 newton meters okay There it is. Okay. See? Hop. Check. We have an oil plug with a new washer. In this case it's an aluminium washer. And as you see there is a magnet. Give it a good clean too. Then we take the Torx 55 goes in. Torque wrench, wrench 42. Up, yes, and my crayon torqued. Well done! So, we're going to fill the GS with oil. What do we need? Oil. I got the Castrol, Power RS, great oil, half synthetic. I don't like full synthetic, but you know that by now. It's way too slippery. I don't like it. Mm, but now, guess what? This needs a special tool. I looked at uh, the tools and I found these. Where is the tool to get the oil filler plug out. Luckily I have one in my own beamer. Like this. See? So, let me tell you a story. Suppose you are on holiday with your R1200 GS water cooled friends. And you drive all the same, even the same color. Yeah. And then uh, the holiday takes uh, thousands of kilometers. And at one point, at one afternoon, you look at your bike, give it a just an inspection, look at the tires and then 
with all your friends, all your Beamer friends. Wow, my nice bike and uh, blah, blah, blah. And then one of your friends look at your oil level and they say, hey, Dieter, which sounds German, your oil level is too low. And you look at it, holy shit, yeah, you're right, uh, mate. I have seen a Kawasaki dealer down the road. Let's go over there in the morning and get a, a liter of oil and we fill that up to level. Go! Next morning, you're all in a good mood, starting up the bikes. Hey guys, we go to the Kawasaki dealer. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, go to the Kawasaki dealer. Well, you go into the Kawasaki dealer and you ask in your best Spanish, because you're in Spain already, for uh, Olio, Bimerio, for the uh, motorcycle Leo. And the guy scratched his head and he said, ah, you mean oil. Yes, we mean oil. So, you get a liter, which should be more than enough. And all of your uh, Beamer friends go outside and then, hey, we need the tool for this. Uh, let's have a look. Holy shit. You don't have a tool. At least not that I'm aware of. So everybody starts to cry. <laughs> can't fill it up. We don't have the right tools. But then suddenly this old mechanic shows up on his older beamer and he sees everybody crying. <laughs> Big tears. He said, what's the problem guys? Uh, we can't fill it up. We don't have the tool and the Kawasaki don't have the tool too. Yeah, which is normal. He said, don't worry guys. I go to my own Beamer and I get you the tools. So see BMW, what could happen? Think about it. Perhaps the tool is somewhere hidden, eh? I don't know, I don't know. But at least it's not in here. So that was my quick rant. Oh. And now we're going to fill it up. This thing. Oh, see, with the right tools, it's an easy job, eh? I think. Now, hop on the new. Ta da! Be careful, there is an o ring in here. Don't lose it. I use my uh, can, easy. Never forget to put the uh, drain uh, plug back in. Did that once. Filling up. Suddenly I thought, holy shit, who? Oh, ah, forgot. Oh. So, I'm only human. Let's have a look. Just two liters. Then up. Let's 
Sí. What is this? Yeah, start to come. Yep, higher, higher, higher. Higher and higher, baby. Tiny bit more for now. We're gonna warm it up for a moment and then we see where the oil levels and then we're gonna I think pour a little bit more into it then we're gonna get it on operating temperature shut it down and see where the level sets let's do that We're gonna fill some more oil. Okay, now. engine is at uh, operating temperature now we're gonna see where it levels out dan doen hier goed kijk het is dat speciale sleuteltje kom draaien hier doe maar draaien ja opa andere kant uit deze kant goed kijken nou en wat hebben we hier was dit olie ja dat is olie gaan we die daarin gieten Opa even doekje hebben. Hier. Doe maar eens even aan opa geven. Wacht, een stukje. Op, doe maar aan opa geven. Ja, doe maar hier. Hier. Doe maar af, afvegen. Goed zo. Dat ken ik zo goed hè. Erg jij. 
heel goed gedaan. Zit hij erin? Oh Ja. Hebben we er goed zo. Even poetsen. En gaan we het dopje er weer op doen? 